All right, so now when you're ready to use your matte transition for OBS, you've got two files here. So in your rendered folder, you've got the with color option and matte only. Let's start with matte only. Some people like this because they don't want colors in their transition, and that's just up to personal preference. And it looks cool as well. So if I go to OBS here and I want to change from one scene to the other and include my stinger transition, I just go to the option here, uh, assuming that I've already created a stinger, create your stinger. Once you've done so, I can go to the properties here and then click browse. And when I find the transition that I want, let's assume that I want number five. Let's go ahead and open. Make sure you choose use a track mat and you can preview it here. Again, sound effects are included. Let's click OK. And if I transition from one scene to the other, you can see that transition looks really nice. Now let's assume I want to use the color that's with that transition because I have that option too. So I just go to the transition properties and click the properties again. Go to browse. Let's go to the renders folder and do the with color folder. And let's choose that transition. Make sure user mat is checked on. Click OK. And then what we're going to do is transition scenes. And you can see that glitch color effect is included. And you do the same with all of your other transitions.